Hello viewers, this is Down Too Fast here. In today's video, I want to show you two very affordable multimeters that you can use around the home or test electrical system in your vehicle if you're doing installs or troubleshooting. So if you don't have a multimeter and you're thinking about getting one, or perhaps you have an older one and you want to get a newer model, you definitely want to watch this video because these multimeters are very capable and has all the features you want for everyday use. This one here is the HT118E, and this pen style one is ST120. Now just by looking at the picture on the box, you can see this one has a more traditional design with a rotary knob in the middle and a large LCD display at the top. Now this one here has a pen style design, so it's more compact and it's perfect for when you're working underneath the dash and testing fuse boxes or other electrical systems in your vehicle. So let me go ahead and unbox each of these and I'll go over all the features on each one. Let's start with this HT118E multimeter. It comes with this very nice carrying case. Here's your user manual. And right here is a multimeter. Comes with batteries, test probe, and a temperature probe. With this HT118AE multimeter, you can see in the middle it has a dial for you to change the different test modes. Right here is a function button, hold button, max min button, LED light button. At the top, there's a large 2.5 inch LCD display. And at the bottom, this is where you plug in your test probe. Now this multimeter does have a rubber protective case. I flip this to the back. There's a stand you can open up. And right here is a Phillips screw. Let's go ahead and remove this screw. Underneath is where you'll find the battery compartment. So let's go ahead and install the two AA batteries. These batteries are included. Now looking at this dial right now, you see it's set to the off position. If I turn this clockwise, right here we can measure AC or DC voltage. Next one up, this is AC or DC millivolt. This is frequency. This one here can measure resistance, continuity, or diode. Next one, capacitance, temperature, microamp, milliamp, amp, and live non-contact voltage. Now one thing nice about this multimeter is when I set it to one of the mode, pay attention to where you plug in the probe, it will actually illuminate to tell you where to plug it in, which is very nice. So I'm going to turn this to the AC-DC voltage, and here you see the red and the black probe will flash. This way if you're new to using a multimeter, it makes it very simple to use. Now earlier I mentioned this can measure AC or DC voltage. The LCD currently says DC voltage. If you want to measure AC voltage, what you want to do is press a function button and that will toggle over to the AC voltage measurement. Now it says AC. So with each test function, there are actually multiple modes. For example, if I switch over to resistance right here, right now it's going to measure resistance. If I press the function button, now it's measuring continuity once more. And right now this will measure diode. And that's how you can toggle to each different test function. Let's go ahead and change this to measure milliamp. And you'll see milliamp will flash these two ports here. So you need to connect the probe here to measure currents. And on the right side, this is a light button. If you press it once, this will illuminate the backlight on the LCD. Press it again, it'll turn it off. Now there's also a flashlight at the back here. If you press and hold this button right here, it'll turn on the flashlight. Press and hold again to turn it off. And with the hold button, if you're doing a measurement and you want to freeze that measurement on the screen, press the hold button and then that reading will stay on the LCD. If you're doing a measurement where the voltage will fluctuate up and down, it will hold to the maximum reading or the minimum reading. Now with this measurement that says NCV live, this is a live non-contact voltage measurement and it uses a sensor right here to measure 
live voltage. Now I'll show you some example of a test you can do with this multimeter later on. Let me go ahead and unbox the pen style multimeter. This is the ST120. Right here is the multimeter. This test probe also comes with batteries and a user manual. As you can see, this multimeter has a much more compact design with a smaller LCD display. Right here is a power button, the hold and the LED light button, and this is the function button. At the tip here, this is where you can use to probe the different circuits you're testing. If you want to, you can also remove this tip here. This will expose a longer test probe, so depending on what you're testing, you might want to have this. But if there are live voltage nearby, you can slip this back on and only have the tip exposed. On the back, this is where you install the battery. Go ahead and remove this compartment. Now this multimeter uses two AAA batteries. Now to test a circuit, you do need two probes. So we have one on this end right here. And you want to plug this black probe to the bottom right here. To power it on, press the power button right here. As you can see, right now it says auto. So this multimeter actually has a built-in smart function. It will automatically detect whether you want to test voltage, resistance, or continuity. If you want to manually select the mode, you can press a function button. So right now, it's going to test DC voltage. Press it again, AC voltage. Press it again. This here will measure resistance, continuity, diode, frequency, capacitance, live circuit. Right now it says PA with A flashing. This will allow you to test non-contact phase sequence detection. Press it one more time and now we're back to auto. Now if you find that the area that you're working in is too dark, there is a built-in LED right here. Press and hold this middle button right here and it'll turn on the built-in LED. Press and hold again, it'll turn it off. Now if you do a quick press of this middle button, it'll hold the reading. And to turn off, press and hold this power button. Now one thing about this HTE118E multimeter is this is a 20,000 count display. It's also referred to as a four and a half digit multimeter. Now this display can actually show five digits. The fifth digit that's right here is actually gonna be either a zero or one. Right now it's measuring 2.289 volts. I'm gonna increase my power supply as you can see, once I increase the power supply to 10.6 volt, now you see the one right here as measuring 10.641 volts. Now if I keep increasing it, right now it's 19 volt. Once I hit 20 volt, now it's measuring 20.3 volt. And the decimal got shifted over to the right. Again, the reason for that is because this first digit right here that you don't see is either gonna be a zero or one. So the multimeter have to shift over to the next range of measurement. And this next range is 100 volt range. So if you're measuring a lower voltage, it does have a higher resolution and it's able to show you a five digit reading. Now some multimeter have a lower count, so the resolution is less. But I just wanna show you this so you know what the 20,000 count mean on this multimeter. So let's do a very simple test. I have a nine volt battery here. First, I'll turn on this multimeter. I'll set it to the voltage testing. You can see it tells you to connect the probe to these two inputs. I'll put one probe onto the negative terminal of the battery, put the other probe on the positive terminal, and here you see it's 9.4 volts. I'll do the same test with this multimeter here. Turn it on. So right now it's set to auto. That means it'll automatically show me the voltage reading when I connect it to the two terminals. As you can see, it's showing 9.38 volts. Next, I'll show you how to measure AC voltage. I have a power strip right here, and you can use this test to test your AC outlet in your home. To measure AC voltage, I'm gonna press the function button right here. Now you can see it's gonna measure AC voltage. So let's test it right now. 
as you can see it shows you 120 volt AC and the backlight actually turns red to tell you it's live voltage and the frequency measure is 60 Hertz let's do the same test with this multimeter right now it's set to DC voltage I'm gonna press a function button right here to measure AC voltage I'll stick the two probe into the outlet and here you can see it's measuring 119.5 volt AC now this multimeter also have the NCV live measurement that's a non-contact voltage measurement I'm gonna turn this to this setting right here NCV so at the top of the multimeter you have the sensor here this is used to sense any live AC voltage I'm gonna put this against this power strip right here so here you see L for live and it's beeping at you telling you there is live voltage here another test you might do on your vehicle is a continuity test so if you're checking for chassis ground or whether you have a cut in a wire you might want to do the continuity test and what you want to do is set it to this setting and then press a function button until you see the symbol right here so if it was a piece of wire you have direct connection between one end to the other end of the wire when I connect this you'll see the green LED will illuminate and the reading goes to zero, zero ohm and it's beeping at you telling you you have a direct short if it was open circuit basically it will not beep and the green LED will not illuminate you can also test the impedance of a speaker so here I have a buzzer and let's measure the resistance I'll change this to the resistance measurement so this buzzer measures 97 ohm and we do the same thing with this multimeter so right now it's set to auto with the auto function it will automatically detect the resistance that shows you 98 ohm okay you can use a multimeter to test different circuits in your fuse box and with a backlit LCD display you can easily read the measurement even in dark area with a pen style design you can quickly and easily probe the circuit you're testing and see the measurement at your fingertip so those are some of the basic tests you can do with either of these multimeters again this design has a more traditional look to it uh, if you're working on a bench or you're testing a device this will be a very good handy tool to have along with the stand you have at the back you can put this on a bench and you'll be able to see the display very well you can also illuminate the back of the LCD so you can see it better now if you're working in a confined space like underneath a dash or checking a fuse box you can also use this type of multimeter as a pen style and this will allow you to probe the circuit and when you probe it you can actually see the reading right here so there you go as you can see these two multimeters are very easy to use and they can be very helpful if you do a lot of troubleshooting or installation on a vehicle or even in your home now with this HT118E multimeter you can get this for about $48 now with this pen style multimeter ST120 you can pick one up for $20 which is an awesome price point for any do-it-yourselfers at home or even in a shop now if you're interested in getting one of these check out the link in the video description below I hope you enjoy watching this video as always thank you for watching thank you for watching this video to support this channel remember to click on thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.